us. Our honorable guest unfurls the national flag. I request all each one of us to kindly stand. You may please be seated. The inspection of the tariff. As the inspection goes ahead, ladies and gentlemen, this 75th Republic Day tariff is contingent led by Parat Commander Ramdik Gautam, IPS. The second Parat Commander, Inspector Kahito, the Parat BHN Shamit Pot. Higher Secondary School MCC led by Kevin Petiba, the Bakai Christian College MCC led by Kevin Kenzoin by Kenzoin Bay Hilu, the Tetsu College MCC led by Kevin Hafiz Kutu, the St. Joseph University MCC led by Kevin Kupuka Yako, the Pipe Band ARTCS and Shokoti, led by Bandmaster Hamilda Raju Guru. The inspection of the barrack being done.
fellow citizens. I extend my warmest greetings to the people of Nagaland on the occasion of the 75th Republic Day of our nation as we celebrate this joyous and momentous day with the rest of the country, we are reminded with utmost reverence of all our freedom fighters, martyrs and heroes, who sweat, sufferings and sacrifices brought us independence from hundreds of years of foreign rule. India became a republic on the 26th of January, 1950 and we gave ourselves a constitution which guarantees for all its citizens justice, liberty, equality, and fraternity. During the last seven and a half decades of our republic, the nation, in the Indian nation, remains steadfast to their ideals, goals, and values and shine in our constitution. We have also taken giant strides in various spheres of development, thereby cementing our place among the strongest and most influential for our people. Nagaland was formed six decades ago with special constitutional safeguards that protect the culture identity and special interests of our people. The state has been an active partner in contributing to the overall development and growth of our great nation. However, we are all aware of the constraints posed by Naga political issue. The solution of which will which still eludes us, in spite of the best efforts and good wishes of everyone concerned. We remain thankful to all the stakeholders who are working tirelessly to find a peaceful, honorable, and acceptable resolution of the issue. My government is keen and committed for an early solution. And today, I once again appeal to all the stakeholders to rise above their differences and to make a united final push to arrive at the eagerly awaited solution. Friends, the state has been making good progress in several sectors which are there for everyone to see and experience. We struck one, another about 944 kilometers of stretches of road have been taken up for construction and upgradation to further improve aided projects. The Department of Industries and Commerce is setting up modern aggregation centers at Longnak Battle Tank Project and Slum Redevelopment of Panchayats in six wards. We are also in the process of developing a fully planned modern city, which will be the first of its kind in Nagaland, to be known as the Nagaki City at Chate Valley, Chamukedima District. The proposal for the new city, which is at an advanced stage, has been taken up with the Ministry of Housing and Urban Development for a favorable consideration and funding under the 15th Finance Commission. The Nagaland Legislative Assembly recently pioneered an initiative to preserve and showcase the entire world, the rich and colorful culture and customs of the Konyak people is in good progress. The Department of Higher Education has been able to successfully get 36 colleges out of 71 colleges in the state accredited by the NAAC and the other colleges are also under process for assessment. As per <coughs> NEP 2020, Nagaland University has already implemented four-year undergraduate program from the academic session 2023-2024 in all the colleges of the state. The proposal for upgradation of three diploma institutes 
Kulbishri Engineering College has also been initiated under PMUSHA scheme. We are pursuing with the central government for the establishment of an Indian Institute of Science, Education and Research in Nagaland, for which we have already acquired about 200 acres of prime land at Sukhobi village in Chamakadima district. The Chief Minister's Health Insurance Scheme has been launched successfully with good response from the public. The citizens who enroll themselves under this scheme will be entitled to free and cashless treatment for various ailments. The first medical college in Nagaland, the Nagaland Institute of Medical Sciences and Research at Kohima, inaugurated on the 14th October 2023, is fully functional now with the first batch of MBBS students already having their regular classes. While under the central quota, we were usually getting about 40 MBBS at the end of this financial year. The successful implementation of the JICA assisted Nagaland Forest Management Project in the state by the Department of Environment, Forest and Climate Change has been appreciated by the Department of Economics and Affairs, Government of India by showcasing a documentary on the NFMP to other states implementing JICA assisted projects. A decade of our falcon conservation in Nagaland was also commemorated with the release of Nagaland State poster by State of India's Birds and Report by Wildlife Institute of India titled Understanding the Amur Falcon. We are committed to achieve the sustainable development goals for our state. The state and district level indicator frameworks have been developed for monitoring the progress of SDGs across the state. SDG district roadmaps for all districts of Nagaland are being developed to achieve the Nagaland SDG Vision 2030. Thanks to the collective efforts of the government and private stakeholders, Nagaland is in championship later this year which will be the biggest ever sports event to be held in Nagaland so far. We are also hosting the Asia Music Summit at Kohima during the 1st to 3rd of February 2024, which will be one of the to every citizen of the state. In the field of sports, music and entrepreneurship, we have been making rapid strides and more recently our performance in the governance sector has further improved. All these positive developments are the outcomes of the people-centric developmental policies of the government on the one hand and the enduring and resilient character being exhibited by the people of the state. I am very positive and confident that the Ladies and gentlemen, now we'll be witnessing the march past all the confusion.
the battle being led by battle commander Romnik Gotham IPS the second battle commander Inspector Kahito The Barrett Pierchen Shaman Kong Barrett Commander Dominic Cotton, the second Barrett Commander Inspector Kahito, the walking bus, marching bus, the first enemy platoon, enemy led by enemy side, Boba Cognac. The ex serviceman contingent led by Max Sedida, KC Kizan. The Government Higher Secondary School MCC led by Kevin Vetiba. The Bakai Christian College MCC led by Kevin Chenziongbe Ilu. The Petsa College NCC led by Karen Hafiz Putin. The St. Joseph University NCC Cunningham led by Karen Kupuka T. Yepo. Marching pass with medical students, the white band, LPC, S, and Chocolate, led by Bandmaster Mabaldar Raju Guru.